Hi guys, Mrs Longley here. I'm going to read you my favourite story, Pooh in the Zoo. Little Bob McGrew was a keeper at the zoo. Looking after animals was what he loved to do. But it wasn't always fun because Bob was the one who had to push the cart around and shovel up the... Pooh! There was Tiger Poo, Lion Poo, Prickly Porcupine Poo, Plummeting Giraffe Poo that landed with a splat, Dollops of Gnu Poo, Bouncy Kangaroo Poo, A trail of drippy droppings from a fat wombat, Flying bits of bat poo, Crikey, whose is that poo? A pongy bit of panda poo, Steaming on the sand. A monkey always threw his as fast as he could do his, so no one had a clue where his poo might land. Bob felt dizzy. He was far too busy with big jobs and little jobs all around the place. Then he slipped on a banana while mucking out iguana and it ran off with a very greedy grin upon his face. The lizard called Hysteria inside the cafeteria, climbing on the counters, eating everything he saw. Eleven lime lollies, all the cakes from off the trolleys, a pepperoni pizza and then sandwiches galore. Iguana's bulging belly started wobbling like jelly. Oh, he groaned. I don't think I could eat another bite. Then his greedy little eyes saw some sparkly fireflies. So he gobbled them up too, because he fancied something light. Iguana said, uh-oh, as his bum began to glow. He pulled a funny face and plopped a poop upon the floor. But Iguana's jaw soon dropped when he saw the poop he'd plopped and he ran off back to his cage where Bob was waiting by the door. Bob turned around and saw something glowing on the floor. A poop that shone so brightly it was lighting up his face. No creature in this zoo has ever done a glowing poo, he whispered to himself. It must have come from outer space. Soon everyone knew about the new poo in the zoo and people flocked to see the interplanetary poop. Then a man in a cravat and a sparkly blue top hat said, Hello there, Mr Zookeeper. My name is Henry Gloop. I'm like you, said Hector. I'm another poo collector. I collect exotic poo-poos. I've got quite a big selection. I want the world to see how amazing poo can be. Please climb aboard my poo museum. I'll show you my collection. I've got a pile of yeti poo and some that's like spaghetti poo. A stinking pile of dragon poo. They're very hard to find. A mammoth poo in ice. Oh, and this one's very nice. A massive pile of poo-poo from a dinosaur's behind. I've got huge poos, tiny poos, crusty poos, shiny poos. Every kind of poo-poo you could ever wish to see. Well, I've got some dodo doo doo but not glowing poo like you do. Oh, I've simply got to have it. Will you sell your poo to me? So Bob sold the poop to a happy Hector Gloop. And he spent all the money on a robot pooper scooper. Well, it whizzes round the zoo and it picks up all the poo. And for Bob and all his animals, life is super duper. The end.